लेबनेट थ्योरम इज एन टी एज मोस्ट फेवरेट टॉपिक फ्रॉम डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन विच इज वन ऑफ द हाई वेटेड चैप्टर फ्रॉम द कैलकुलस एंड फ्रॉम ओवरऑल क्लास इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ सिलेबस मैथमेटिक्स सिलेबस एज वेल फ्रॉम लेबनेट थ्योरम एवरी ईयर वी सी अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन right so this year in jmin 2024 as well we have seen a few questions so we'll be solving two type of question based on leibniz theorem so first we will study what is leibniz theorem and secondly we'll uh, talk about a uh, question from jmin 2024 and one question from jmin 2023 let's do it okay now what is Le leibniz theorem how to apply it very easy question very easy theorem okay so how to apply it so first of all what is the leibniz theorem what what are we trying to achieve from this leibniz theorem by the way it is newton's leibniz theorem so suppose you are having a uh, integration of f of t dt and upper and lower limit are given as the variable so this is your g of x and this is let's say your h of x can you see the difference of the variable yes and now you are here to differentiate this with respect to x if you wish to differentiate the integration of a function with respect to variable limits then we have to apply a leibniz theorem please understand neither over here we are going to differentiate nor we are going to integrate because integration and di differentiation both will cancel each other we just have to follow some set of rules which i'll be writing on the right hand side what we'll be doing is so this is f of t right so derivative will be equals to now t will be replaced by the upper limit that is the first thing so this will be f of h of x and now in the multiplication we are have to differentiate h dash x got it and minus you are going to repeat the same thing with lower limit t will be replaced by g of x and we need to differentiate the lower limit so g dash x that's all that's the derivative of integration of this quantity this is your leibniz theorem that's it right easy isn't it now let's apply and understand whether uh, we have uh, understood this theorem or not so let's start with jmin 2024 problem fx is integral of this the moment we see 0 to x that means variable limits leibniz theorem okay so this is f dash x so we need to differentiate both sides over here and f of x square is also given what we are looking for is sigma of f of r square so agenda is the end goal of this question is to calculate f of x or rather f of x square this is the final goal okay even if we calculate f of x it's fine but either of the, these two this is the better approach if we are getting this we need to keep that keep that in mind okay all right so now let's apply leibniz theorem over here differentiating both sides f dash x is equals to can you see x f of x derivative of x is 1 right so t will be replaced by upper limit clear and x uh, upper limit will be differentiated minus put lower limit you are going to get anyway 0 and derivative of 0 is 0 so that's it we need to stop stop it over here so this is f dash x and from here can you see that this is f x square so to make it similar what i can do is i can differentiate the second equation if i do that what do i get f of x square let's not forget this 2x right chain rule 4x cube plus 5x raised to power 4 right this 2 can 2x can go in the uh, denominator so that it will become 2x square x x cancel x square plus we are going to have 5y 2x cube this is your f dash x square right okay now f dash x square is coming like this can i calculate f dash x square from here and compare it so this will be f dash x square i am replacing x by x square x square f of x square right so this f dash x square can be replaced by x square f of x square is equals to 2 x square plus 5 by 2 x cube it is very easy now we've got our f x square that's it the question is done so f of x square is clearly 2 plus 5 by 2 x right so that's what we were looking for so f of r square will be 2 plus 2 upon 1 plus 5 by 2 r that will be your f of r square 
एंड सिग्मा आर इज इक्वल टू वन टू ट्वेल्व दैट्स वॉट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर सिग्मा टू सो टू टाइम ट्वेल्व प्लस फाइव बाय टू सिग्मा आर सिग्मा आर इज आर आर प्लस वन बाय टू आर इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व मल्टीप्लाई थर्टीन बाय टू सो फोर थ्री जो ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन सो ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फिफ्टीन इंटू थर्टीन इज वन नाइंटी फाइव एंड द मोमेंट आई एड इट आई विल गेट टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन एज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जे एम इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर If you know the Leibniz theorem, this question is a cakewalk for you. Okay, all right. Yes. Now we we can see another question. So this is another type of question. Again, Leibniz theorem is applicable. This is actually from your favorite topic, which is L'Hopital, right? So this is a limits question. Can you see the moment I put x equals to zero, denominator so definitely is zero. And what about this part? So zero to zero. So this is also zero. Numerator is also zero. Zero by zero form. That means we can apply L'Hopital over here. Now, but how to apply L'Hopital? So this is actually forty-eight. Forty-eight can be taken out. Limit x tend to zero. So let's keep numerator like this: zero to x t cube upon t raised to power x plus one dt. This is your numerator upon this is denominator which is outside the integration. So now zero by zero form L'Hopital. This is actually must much better way of writing. Now L'Hopital. That means differentiate the numerator. Oh, differentiating f of t zero to x again. Variable limit. So now here Leibniz. So very easy. Just replace t by x. X cube upon x raised to power six plus one. Uh, derivative of x is one minus zero will be zero. Okay, because derivative of zero will be zero upon x raised to power four derivative because L'Hopital. L'Hopital is derivative of numerator upon derivative of denominator four x cube. That's it. And limit x tend to zero is there. Let's not forget the forty-eight as well. X cube, x cube gone. X tend to zero. If you put this is forty-eight, and this is one by four. So the answer will be twelve. Easy peasy. Ten second question, alpha question, right? So this is the question which was asked in Jamin twenty twenty three. I hope you like this session. I'll see you in the next video.